Let us now understand how to determine coordinates of the circle center of a triangle. Here is a question from IB Maths test paper, coordinate geometry grade 10. The question is, determine the coordinates of the circle center of triangle ABC with vertices A31, B is minus 1, 3 and C is minus 3, minus 3. Now what is circumcenter? Circumcenter is a point of intersection of right bisectors of the sides of the triangle. So that point will be equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. So that is the significance of circumcenter. So from that point you can draw a circle touching all the three vertices. Right? So that's how it gets its name, circumcenter. To begin with, let's approximately sketch our triangle. We have three points A, B and C. So let me write minus 3, minus 3 which is probably the leftmost point here. So let's say this point is C for us and let me say this is minus 3, minus 3. And then we have a point minus 1, plus 3. So let's say minus 1, plus 3 will be kind of here. So we'll call this as B which is minus 1 plus 3 and then we have 3 and 1 so 3 and 1 should be somewhere here so let's say this point is A for us 3 and 1 so we'll approximately sketch it will really help us to solve the problem connect these points on a grid it is even better right so you approximately get the idea of you know how the things are but for us, I think this will work. Now, when we say circumcenter, what are we trying to find? We are trying to find midpoint of a segment, slope of the segment, and then the right bisector. So let's begin with, let us say, AB. So let's find midpoint of AB first. So midpoint of AB is what? Add these two divide by so it's average value of x and y coordinates that's how we see it right so we are calling this point as midpoint of a b so the x value will be minus 1 plus 3 divided by 2 and the y value will be 3 plus 1 divided by 2 and that gives us 2 over 2 as plus 1 and 3 plus 1 is 4, 1 and 2. So that is midpoint. Now what is the slope of AB? The slope of AB will be, let me call with small m, AB. Slope will be rise over run. So we can say 3 minus 1, difference of y values, minus 1, minus 3. 3 minus 1 is 2, this is minus 4, so we get minus half as the slope of AB. Now the right bisector is something which is perpendicular to this, correct? So we are looking for line which is bisecting this, goes through the midpoint. So slope of this will be what? So let me call this as right bisector R of AB, right? So this right bisector R of AB will have slope of what? Negative reciprocal of AB slope, correct? So the slope is, so let's first figure out what we are trying to use. So we are trying to use slope of this perpendicular which will be negative reciprocal. So negative reciprocal of half is 2, right? And the point to be considered is MAB, right? So we are considering the point MAB which is 1 comma 2 correct so this is what we are using and now we'll find equation of this line right so clearly from slope and a point we can write equation as y equals to mx plus b now here y is 2 x is 1 slope is 2 right so substituting these values we get 2 equals to slope of 2 x is 1 plus b and that gives us value of b 
as equal to 0. And therefore, the equation of this line is y equals to 2x. So, we'll call this as our equation 1. We got one of the right bisectors equation, which is y equals to 2x. Now, we'll follow all these steps again and then find the right bisector of another section. Let us, let us take this as to be BC. Okay. So, what is midpoint of BC? Midpoint of BC will be average values of x minus 1 minus 3 divided by 2, 3 and minus 3, 3 I should write, I should actually add, so I am adding 3 and minus 3, okay, that, that was okay. So I should add like this, right. And that gives me the values as, this is minus 2 and that is 0. So the x value will be minus 1, minus 3. When you add, you get minus 4 and average minus 2. 3 minus 3 will give you 0. Similarly, the slope of, so this point which we have got is MBC, right? So this is, let me write here, MBC. And the slope of this line BC is difference of y values. So we'll write 3 minus of minus will be 6 divided by minus 1 minus this which is 2 so the slope is 3 for us positive 3 now let's find the equation of right bisector of this one so it will be kind of like this is it okay yeah let me call this right bisector bc so for right bisector bc what do we have we have a point which is mbc and the point is minus 2, 0. Plus, we know what the slope should be, right? Slope of this bisector should be negative reciprocal. So, it's minus 1 over 3. Now, taking these two things into consideration, equation should be y equals to slope is minus 1, 3. You can write minus 1, 3x plus b. We need to find the value of b. So, we'll plug in minus 2 for x and 0 for y. So, we get 0 equals to minus 1 over 3 minus 2 plus b and that gives us a value of b as equal to this becomes plus when you take it to the other side 2 over 3, right? Or the equation in our case will be y equals to minus 1 over 3x plus 2 over 3. Right. So, we'll call this as a second right bisector. Now, using equations of the two right bisectors, we can find point of intersection. Right. So, now let us calculate the point of intersection. Correct. Right? That is the circumcenter. So, the circumcenter of will be point of intersection of RAB, first right bisector, and the other, right, RBC. So, to find that, what we can do is, we are using these two equations now. Have a look. y equals to 2x and y equals to minus 1 over 3x plus 2 over 3. So, if I substitute y as 2x, then I get one equation in one variable, correct, which I am going to do. So, from equation 1 and 2, we get 2x equals to minus 1 over 3x plus 2 over 3. So, everything is in x. Let's multiply by 3. So, we get 6x equals to minus x plus 2. Um, and then we can bring x this side. So, we have 7x equals to 2 or x is equal to 2 over 7. So, we get the value of x. Since we know, so let this be equation 3 for us. Since we know y is twice x, so y will be equals to, let me further divide this page. I like to work in just half page since this video coverage is so less. So y equals to 2 times x, so it is 2 times 2 over 7, so that is 4 over 7, right? So the center of this point, which let me call this as C, circumcenter, the coordinates of C are 
2 over 7 and 4 over 7. Do you see that? So that is our answer. 2 over 7, 4 over 7. Let me write down our answer here clearly. So answer is that the circumcenter is 2 over 7, 4 over 7. So that, has, that is the coordinate of circumcenter, right? I hope it's clearly visible to you. Now let's summarize this. Circumcenter is the point where the right bisectors of the sides of a triangle intersect. You could have also used CA. If you do that, you'll find that line to be going like this. It will also pass through the same point. So the idea is find the midpoint of a side, find the slope of the side, negative reciprocal of the slope will give us slope of the right bisector, find the equation of the right bisector using the midpoint and the negative reciprocal slope. Do it for two sides, find the point of intersection and that point of intersection is circumcenter of a given triangle. So that's how we do it. I hope it's absolutely clear to you. This is one of the most complicated questions which you'll get and a time-consuming question in the test. Be thorough with the calculations. Thank you and all the best.